Alyssa Valser knows the streets of Vienna well from her student days, and her debut novel happens to be set here in the Austrian capital. The story is set amid the pomp and majesty of 18th century Vienna, and it's based on a true story. Maria Theresia von Paradis is a blind pianist who is referred to the world-famous doctor Franz Anton Mesmer in the hope that his new magnetic hypnosis will restore her sight. The girl's face twitches, first gently, like a storm gathering behind her eyelashes. Then her eyes open slowly. They widen and start to well up. All that has just been dead and lifeless is cast into turmoil, twitching and vibrating, in accordance with a separate system independent of the whole, chaotic and uncoordinated, like a machine run amok. I found this material addressed a lot of my own interests, the issue of men and women, and the body is a mirror of the Zeitgeist. And because the story is set so long ago, and the temporal distance is therefore so great, I compensate for that distance with personal intimacy. Alyssa Walser studied painting in Vienna. But she grew up near Lake Constance, surrounded by music and literature. Her mother was herself a pianist, and her father is the famous and outspoken German novelist Martin Walser. Music is really important in the book because it plays a crucial role for both characters. Mesmer always had musicians in his magnetism clinic. The patients would sit around this magnetic contraption while the musicians were playing next door. He wanted to get the fluidum moving again. As for Paradis, Music was truly her life. Alyssa Walser spent four years working on her novel and researching her main characters. Dr. Mesmer, a controversial figure who is now considered the father of hypnosis. And the blind pianist, Maria von Paradis, a very emancipated and well-traveled young woman for her time. She was so famous that the likes of Mozart and Haydn composed works for her, despite prevailing prejudices against blind people. What I found very interesting was that Paradis's blindness revealed her healthy side. It wasn't easy at the time for a woman to become a pianist. Women were permitted to have tutors and play the piano charmingly, but they couldn't make a profession out of it. Independent female characters are something of a recurring theme for Elisa Walser. They were at the heart of the stories that marked her literary breakthrough in the early 1990s. Her first novel is an intricately composed tale of two kindred spirits, a doctor and his patient. She briefly regains her eyesight, only for her musical talent to diminish. Eventually, her blindness returns, and so does her artistry, while the doctor falls into disrepute as a charlatan. There are sources claiming that she would have preferred to stay with Mesmer. I don't think it's clear whether she herself preferred to remain blind. But given the circumstances she lived in, I think she might have preferred to keep her eyes shut. Alyssa Walser's novel is by no means a tale of failure. It's about the healing powers of music and finding light when surrounded by darkness. An enlightening debut novel.